Hi, I'm Teach Marine, and here we are in Riverside, California, in front of the about to be new Teach Marine Center for Chicano Art and Culture. I'm just thrilled beyond uh, ex any expectations. Uh, this is a, a blessing that fell from the sky and we're trying to make the most of it. And I want to introduce to you our architects, Kulapat and John, and they will come out and introduce themselves and their companies. Kulapat, you're on. Hello everyone, I'm Kulapat Yantrasas, founder, creative director of Y. We are so honored to be working with Cheech and John at Hedge Turnbull. We work on museums all over the world, but I think this is going to be the most important museum that we all have to visit. So happy to be here. Hi, I'm John Lisak. I'm a partner with Page and Turnbull, and our firm is noted for working in historic environments. So we do planning and architecture in historic buildings. This is uh, actually a special building. It was, when it was built, it really was transformative. And it was a new formalist style building and it was very different from what you see around the neighborhood. And this building's always had a public art component to it. And it has these wonderful precast concrete screens that were designed to simulate uh, a flock of doves taking off. So but if, as you can pan across, you see all these historic buildings, the Unitarian Church, and another Munici the Municipal Museum, which used to be the post office, the old city hall, and the world famous Mission Inn. But we're right in the historic center. Come on in and you can walk me around in through this. Uh, this is so place. exciting. This is the most exciting thing. So we're coming in from the outside Zocalo to the inside Zocalo. Well, Zocalo is like a town square, a circle where ceremonial activities take place. And so we want to make that both inside and outside. So to welcome people from the street inside. And as John said before, I think the way that we transform this is with a lot of love and respect. So we use the word acupuncture. This is like an old body that we want to acupuncture so that it stimulate <laughs> the life, create new energy. But we also, as, as Chief said, we are the, the new kids on the block, but we want to bring the youth energy, we want to bring the art energy to this place, which is important. We want the town of Riverside and the community in general and the world in general to view this place as, as the ceremonial center of, of the town. So any civic things that, that are going to happen that are of interest and related to the arts will happen here. And it brings the town together that way. Chichu and Kulapa were just talking about community and going hand in hand in that is collaboration. So we collaborate with community. So we did a whole series of workshops and events to get feedback from the Latino community locally, the artist community locally, we set up a booth during Art Walk and solicited input on the museum and took it very seriously. So we're standing here in the place that will be the gallery on the ground floor. We have many other galleries, but this is the one that you come first. You can see that we respect the structure of the building from the brick wall to the concrete ceiling. This gives us the most flexibility give us the most accessible way of showing art. It's going to be state of the art lighting system and air condition. So all of these be part of our acupuncture transformation. And this gallery is just right next to the Zocalo, as we talked about, which, you know, as Cheech mentioned, it is a center of activities. It has museum shop, it has cafe, you have gathering space, you have learning space. So these will be all fluid between the art in the gallery and the activity of the people indoor and outdoor. We always talk about character defining features when we talk about historic buildings. And we one of the great features of the library is this mid-century modern staircase with the wood handrails and the chrome. They have these wonderful polyester panels that are in between the stairs that have this circle pattern that we're going to restore as part of the project. And a key thing that came out in the early discussions and workshops was this concept of informality next to formality. So almost new informalism, right? So we're gonna have this powerful Zocalo, which will allow for kind of more informal discussion or formal. And then you have this fun and playful stare that um, you know is right next to it and people will travel back and forth and get to experience both spaces. So it's really a special component that um, we're so lucky to be able to keep. Okay, show me some of the other things that you have planned oh, here. Sheesh, I know you're so excited for this space. So as you come in from the Zocalo, imagine these being this atrium connecting from the ground floor to the second floor galleries. So and there'll by be a big hole. Big hole here 
that will allow people from the second floor to see the ground floor and each other, make it more open and welcoming. And at the end of this, I know you're so excited about this artwork. Can you tell us about what that is? Well, there's a piece we have commissioned from the De La Torre brothers who will be the inaugural exhibition here at the Chase. It's a lenticular piece that they are uniquely responsible for. We commissioned a piece that will go up through this atrium and, 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 and connect both floors. And also it's a welcoming piece from the outside into the inside. Uh, and it'll be unique of all museums in the world. And so this is a, a three-story building and we'd like to take you up into the second floor there where there are more uh, uh, delicacies to uh, imbibe on. So come and follow me upstairs. This really. is so beautiful. Um, it's so intricate. They're, they're intricate, it's such a nice kit of parts. Yeah. And you'll see this kind of and you so know, tapered shape on the yeah. other parts of the building and the door hardware. Whoa. That's really special. Look that at it this. had all the original banisters and furniture to appear. Right. It was amazing that it was still intact. Whoa. Wow. It's so amazing to see this building with no furniture and no stacks of books and and shelves and it's just we can do anything up here. So this is where the atrium will be. We basically floating above our atrium right now. There's a big, big hole here. Mm -hmm. This will be the space that, again, like really welcome people in. When you walk in from the ground floor in the Zocalo, you can look up and see this work, but also see what's going on on the second floor at the same time. So we're doing this as a way of creating this flow for a museum of this size. And on this level, you know, in addition to the galleries, we have artists and residents, we have spaces for children to work on art, video and offices, and many things that allow really all kinds of activities to happen under this big roof. And the video of, uh, of section over here, because this is a cultural center, not just a, a collection of paintings. It is, uh, it involves all the arts and we will have a very large video and film component to this, of which what Robert Rodriguez has uh, deigned to be our leader in that direction. So we're really looking forward to one of the top filmmakers in the world, who happens to be Chicano, to come and set up residency That's great. here. Uh, the museum's uh, inheriting this very special collection. So there's gonna be state-of-the-art museum storage that's actually going to be in the first floor and then we're keeping the offices of the library and converting them into offices for the museum staff for the cultural center staff and we're keeping all the mid-century components of that so the panelized uh, wall systems with wood and the, the special hardware that I had mentioned coming up the stairs. Um, again this formal and informal we're keeping some of the things like the little restroom signs and the clock. We're going to restore the ceiling here so it gives it a whole new dimension because you'll be able to see it from another floor down. But you've got these wonderful domes and the ball lights hanging down. Add a mid-century touch to the, to the whole space and remind you that this building has a continuity of uh, use and history and connection to the city, so it's great. John and his team are so great. We work with him a lot and to really preserve the memories. At the same time, Cheech is bringing new memories to this and adding on to that. I think the continuity that John mentioned is so strong. And look at how brilliant you have in keeping the details. People that have been coming here for the last 40 years will remember. I think allow us to be part of their lives, but also take them into a new, new location. Uh, so we want to thank everybody in, out there in TV land for uh, joining us for this tour around. Thanks to John and Kula Pot, our architects, for showing us around and all the innovative features that we're going to be featuring here at the Cheech in Riverside. And uh, we want to invite the world to come in and see the very first First Chicano Art and Cultural Museum. We can't wait for it to open. We've been waiting for a long time and we want to thank the, uh, the City of Riverside for the invitation to have this museum here and turning over one of their prized buildings, of all a lot of prized buildings. And we hope that we will do them proud and honor the tradition they have established here for over a hundred years.